Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is one that I'm excited about. It's going to be a K-beauty inspired makeup look. And this video is done in partnership with Stylevana. It is not a sponsored video, but they sent me a couple of items and I have a little code if you guys are interested in picking anything up. But I have a few items that I wanted to tell you guys about. So if you're interested in the look that I created, then keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to be starting off with is brows. I was sent this brow pencil by the brand Etude House and it's the drawn eyebrow pencil. So it's like an Anastasia brow definer. It's a thicker point and then you get a little spoolie. So I noticed that um, like Asian in general makeup, their brows are normally a little bit straighter. So that's what I want to accomplish today because my brows normally do have an arch in it. We're gonna try to get a little bit more straighter and not as fluffy as I normally do. So I'm still brushing it up. Just so we can see our shape. And the shade that I have in this brow pencil, I think is brown. I think it's brown, but it is in Korean. I go a little bit more straight with my brow, but we'll see how this hat goes. I actually really like this pencil. It's not too waxy, but not too dry. I'm gonna go in with a bit of got to be um just to hold my brows in place. Instead of going up, I'm gonna kind of go down a little bit more. There we go. Why did I start off with my brow? I you guys, I never start with my brows. I don't know what I was thinking today. I'm like, wait, I don't have any foundation on my face. Why did I start with brows? Um, okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of concealer to clean my brow up um, just so we can get it a little bit more straight. I'm using the Dior Forever. gonna try to be neat with this because I need to do my foundation so yeah let me do my foundation before I even clean my brow because I don't know what I was thinking today so let's go in with primer I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer in the Ultra Glow version for foundation I'm gonna be going in with the Armani Neo Nude Foundation this is in the shade 13 I like it because it's pretty um, lightweight it's a uh, share to medium coverage. And it is glowy. So one thing I noticed about a lot of uh, Korean makeup is that their makeup is always glowy and natural looking. And you guys know that I love to look glowy. So not far off from what I normally do. But I think this foundation is gonna give that look. I did purchase you guys some K-Beauty brand, so you want to look out for that. I'm going to do like a full face of K-Beauty brands. So I want to really try some K-Beauty makeup. But you know, not a lot of makeup for dark skin, unfortunately. I did get a foundation from Innisfree, though. It ended up actually being too dark. But, I mean, that's good. At least they got some shades. But I am just waiting for the rest of the makeup to come in. I am gonna color correct as usual using our Dior Forever. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Lip Bar Concealer in the shade Cinnamon 4 o'clock. 
I'm not gonna put too much, but I like this concealer because it's very natural looking. It has such a pretty finish to it, but so I think it'll go really well with this foundation. And just to give us that overall glowy look. So this is what my complexion is looking like so far, just pretty radiant overall. I like it a lot, very lightweight, pretty natural. Everything just looks very skin-like and radiant. So I'm just gonna set a little bit using my Charlotte Tilbury, you guys. I'm not gonna put too much powder on. So that's what we look like with our complexion just set a little bit. We're gonna go on with just a bit of bronzer, just a little bit. I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but just for a little bit of definition, I don't want too much. go ahead and just finish up my brow so what I was doing is just cleaning up the edge just to make it a little bit more straight instead of have an arch to it and then I'll show you what I'll use on my eyes okay so our brows are completed this was looking like so just a little bit more straight still a little fluffy because you know I like a little bit more fluffiness to my brow but we're a little bit closer so I can show you what I'll be using on my eyes today okay, so I have this eyeshadow palette from the brand Chica Ichiko or is it Chica, Chica Ichiko the One Shot Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Day Drink number one. That's so cute. The names are like Bacardi, Malibu, Cognac, okay. Champagne, and Vodka Espresso. All right, so my eyes are already primed with Anastasia Eyeshadow Primer and some concealer, but this is the color story of the palette. Really pretty, really, really pretty. So we're gonna just do something very shimmery and pretty. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I do believe it's called Vodka Espresso, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so. And I'm just gonna use that as a transition color. It's definitely more of my skin tone. And we're keeping it a little bit more round. So instead of like blowing it out like usual, I'm keeping it a little bit more round. There we go. Here we are. So next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Same brush. So I'm concentrating the darker color right on our outer eye. Blending it a bit into the outer crease, but we're keeping it round, like I mentioned before. So that's what we're looking like so far. Just pretty minimal. A little definition to our outer eye. Bringing it a little bit rounder to lift our eye a little bit more. Um, I want to go in with this shade right here. I think it's so pretty. It's probably more of a topper shade, but let's see what it looks like. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do that. And I'm just blending the edges now. So that's what we're looking like. Just a little bit more of a lifted eye. I'm gonna go in with just a bit of liner. So that's what we look like with liner. So just kind of rounding off our eye a little bit more. I'm just gonna lightly smoke out the bottom lash line, but I'm not gonna add like any liner or anything there. Um, just to keep our eyes open. All right, so I have mascara on, but this is what my eyes are looking like. I really like how it turned out. Just very subtle, a nice, sophisticated shimmer. I like it a lot. So I have two different lip colors that I was sent um, by Stylevana. I have the McQueen Air Kiss lipstick in number two, orange rose. Yep. And then I also have the Chateau Le Beau. I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. But this brand, um, and it's the Wine Lip Tint in, what shade is this? Saint Rose. Now, you all know that I love me a good peachy color. This is like calling my name. First of all, this is the McQueen lipstick and this is the packaging. 
And that's the color. It's not ready. So that's the color. Oh, I might have to do that. But I'm intrigued with this lip tint. This is the lip tint. Isn't this cute? It's like a little wine bottle. And, oh, yeah. That's the shade. It's like a coral. We're going to have to do that. I think I want to use a little bit of this on my cheeks for blush, though. Can I do that? Okay, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand just so I don't mess up the applicator. I'm going to use this rougher brush. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Alright, so keep their blush a little bit more rounded. Here, there we go. And a lot of color payoff and kind of pull it up. Oh, pretty. And then pull it up. There we go, I love that. All right, so now we're gonna use this and we're gonna do more of a blotted lip color. So this is the um, the lip tint in St. Rose. I'm gonna start in the center. It's so comfortable. Right, I'm just concentrating just a little bit more in the center. This lip color is very comfortable. All right, guys. So this is my overall look for today. A K-Beauty inspired makeup look. What do you guys think of it? I actually really like how my complexion look. I think it's very minimal. But at the same time, you have a nice pop with this blotted lip. It's very, very pretty and I love the products that I use today. I didn't think that I would like the eyeshadow palette because I thought it would be like too muted but I actually like the way that it looks on my eye especially the shimmer because it isn't too glittery it's just a soft sheen and it looks so pretty. I actually really like that eyeshadow palette. I'm probably gonna use that a lot. A good everyday eyeshadow palette. Um, I think it blended very nicely. They are buildable mattes, so you're not going to get like full color payoff when you first start off, but it's definitely going to build up a little bit more. And the lip color, I love this lip color. I like both of them. I can't wait to wear that other one too. I think it's so pretty. The like peachy pinky one. Ooh, and then this coral. Yes, this is beautiful. I loved it as a blush too. I think it looks really pretty on my skin tone. So you guys, if you are interested in picking up anything from Stylevana, I have a code with the brand. Oh, my code will be on the screen, but it is INF10 Jordan. So INF10 Jordan. If you guys are interested in picking anything up, and I'll link everything that I use in today's video down below in the description box. But I'm so excited. I have another package coming from them that I purchased myself. They didn't send me anything. I purchased something. So I'm going to do a full face of K Beauty makeup, and then we'll see how we like those brands. But so far, I think. I mean, I think I'm going to like it because I am I like the brow pen, so I like the eyeshadow. I like the lip. I have some skincare that they also sent me that I like. It was a cleansing oil. Um, I'll leave that link down below too, but that removes my makeup really well. I've been using it a lot, and I'm really excited. So if you guys are interested in watching the full face of K-Beauty um, brands, then please give the video a thumbs up so I know to do it. Um, but if you like this video as well, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it. How do you feel about it? Are you into K-beauty makeup? I am like a fan of K-pop, so I've been like dabbling into a little bit more K-beauty Korean things. <laughs> Let me just tell you about it. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jordine. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll really appreciate it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.